This is Tall Tale TV, your podcast for sci-fi and fantasy short stories. Star Sign, written by Roger Lay, performed by Chris Heron. So, what's your star sign? Mary asked and took a sip from her glass. She watched him closely over the rim. It was one of her stock questions on first dates. You could tell a lot about a man, depending on how he reacted. His actual star sign was irrelevant. She didn't believe in astrology. She liked to meet new prospects in the pub on the way home from work. It was easy to make a hasty exit after one polite drink if the perfect match was less than perfect. And, let's face it, most of them were. It was just a matter of degree. I'm not sure. I think you call it Antares. There isn't a star sign called Antares, she said. She picked up her glass and appraised him as she took another sip. He touched his ear and paused for a few seconds, as if listening. Oh, what star sign, he said. A subgroup of a horoscope of twelve. Yes, which one are you? she asked, trying not to show her irritation. I'm uh, a monkey, he said. He tried his drink tentatively, as if he'd never tasted beer before and was finding it difficult to acquire a taste for it. A monkey? He paused and touched his ear again. Oh, sorry, wrong horoscope. I'm an Aquarian, born on the 24th of January. He looked around the pub and smiled as he scrutinized the decor of the old agricultural implements tools and horse brasses hanging from the beams and walls. Such an old technology, he said. Hard to believe that you still use human and quadruped muscle to power your food production. We don't. They're antiques, she said. She thought he was rather gauche, but was pleasant enough looking. About her age, thirty, nicely slim and well presented. She even liked the smell of his aftershave which she hadn't yet identified, and she was something of an expert on men's aftershaves. She came to a decision. He'd do. Certainly for a night. After that, time would tell. She put her drink back down on the table. <sighs> would you like to come back to my place? She asked. It's quieter there, and we could get to know each other better. Oh, yes. I've been looking forward to this, he said. I've never been on a two-sex planet before. Oh, no, she thought. A first-timer. I'll have to explain everything to him step by step. It'll ruin the spontaneity. Never mind, she said, downing her gin and tonic. I think I'll pass on this one. She stood, picked up her handbag, and left. Oh, I'm going to stick to Tinder Vanilla in the future, she thought as she walked to the car park. Tinder Galactica is just too unpredictable. Car open, she said and climbed in as the door sighed up. Car home, she said. It set off almost soundlessly. There was no point in being polite to software, particularly if it wasn't even sentient. Oh well, she thought. Another night in with the rabbit. Maybe some screen time later. You can't win them all. Star Sign is one of the stories in Roger Lay's speculative fiction collection, Dead People on Facebook, which has recently been republished with ten new stories in it. Roger also recently released a brand new techno-thriller novella called The Muslim Prince, now available on Amazon Kindle. It's an alternative history that hinges on futuristic surveillance techniques and what might have happened if Princess Diana hadn't died. Also, be sure to check out his brand new book, the Steampunk Adventures of Harry Lampeter, an adventure in a post-apocalyptic steampunk future version of our own world. Links in the description. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I love Roger's work. He is so good at the flash fiction format, something that, personally, I never really was able to do. <laughs> and I get a kick out of his sense of humor, too. If you did like the story, Roger has a bunch of others on the channel. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can find them all in one place. But before you go, be sure to subscribe. This show is available on YouTube, Facebook, and just about every podcast app. 
I'm Chris Heron, and that's it for today's Tall Tale TV.